Guys, look at my coffee mug today. Look at it. Look how Canada this is. First of all, we have the red on the inside, white on the outside. Canadian flag. Then we have a moose, a goose, a loon, maple syrup, a, an owl. Do we, do we not have a beaver on here? Oh, I'm so disappointed. We do have a log cabin in the back though, just to sort of complete the whole rustic Canadian vibe. I personally have never seen a moose in person or been in a log cabin, but you know, <laughs> there are many different types of Canadians. Maybe you live in a log cabin with a moose. I don't know. But regardless, it has coffee in it, and that's all I care about. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a new full face first impressions-ish. Kind of? A little bit? Not really. I had like a whole bunch of new makeup that I really wanted to test out with you guys, but I also have a whole bunch of favorites that I also want to share. So I just decided to like combine both worlds and we're gonna do it all in one video. If you guys like this type of video, give it a thumbs up so I know and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so now that we are zoomed in, we are gonna start with the eyes today and I am gonna go in first by priming them. I'm just using the classic Urban Decay uh, primer potion, but I also really like the, there's one by Essence that I also really like. It's the I Love Color Intensifying Base. This is also a good one, but it was, it was buried. So UD Primer Potion it is. For eyeshadows today, I'm gonna be playing around with some eyeshadows from Tarte that I have been recently really in love with. Um, there are some here that I have not tested yet and some that I have, so I will kind of go through those with you guys, but um, I did a whole buy or buy on the Tarte brand in general. My favorite products, products that are okay and products that just did not work for me. So if you wanna check that out, I will put in the cards in case you are interested. But we're gonna start with this beautiful shade right here. This is one of their metallic shadows. This is in the shade Speak Easy. And I talked about this as being one of my favorites. Like, look at this shade, 1A. But also, like, barely swatched. And like, boom. Crazy pigmented. It's such a stunning shade and I love it. So I think I'm going to do sort of like a bronze metallic smoky eye type thing today. Um, so I'm gonna start by just dipping my brush in there and patting this into the lids. I don't wanna go up too high with this shade because it is really, really pigmented. Um, and I just wanna kinda keep this on the lid. That's a good look. I love when you're in the process of doing your makeup and you're like, wow, well this so far looks terrible. This could go two ways. Hopefully it's good. Then I'm gonna go in with the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. This is like a brow, eye, and uh, contour palette. And I'm going to take this um, terracotta shade right here and I'm going to apply that. Actually, it's supposed to be a, like a just contour shade, but I'm gonna apply it to the, the crease today. I'm just gonna blend it sort of on top of that metallic shade and then up a little bit as well. Then I'm gonna take a combination of stone and ember and just apply that to the crease over top the original um, shade that I used, terracotta, and just blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to use timber here, which is a deeper, warm shade and go right into the very, very depths of the crease, if you will, just to make it really, really dark and stand out and nice and clean. Then I'm just gonna spray some Fix Plus on my brush here and I'm going to re-dip that into the metallic shade here and go over the lid just to really vamp up that metallic look. And then I'm going to go over the center of the lid with this shade here. This is from the Tardist Pro palette. It's a nice like metallic-y bronzy shade. Okay, now we're gonna go on to mascara and lashes. I know, I know, I never use lashes. I'm very excited about this. So first I'm just going to curl my lashes as per usual. So the mascara I'm going to be using today is by L'Oreal. This is their Voluminous Lash Paradise. I've talked about this one. I really, really like it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara, not too much, which is like against everything I stand for. I put on so much mascara usually. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black liner just to the waterline. I am using lashes and I'm not lining, so I kind of want to make that area as black as possible. And the lashes I'm going to be using today are by Huda Beauty. These are their Easy Lash, and I think it's in the um, type, I think it's Camille is the name of it. Yeah, Camille. And they're half lashes, but they're super bold. I love them. They look so gorgeous on the eyes, and they're really, really easy to put on. So if you don't like lashes, but you like the look of lashes, I highly recommend checking these out. They're awesome. All right, so my lashes are on and also the brows are done. Um, and that is because Luke was napping. So I did my brows as well and I used the a Pretty Vulgar. This is their um, gel in the shade uh, Twisted 
Kale. It's their Rising Arc brow gel and I really, really like it. It is so, so easy to apply. It's that perfect blend of being really creamy and pigmented, but not too much that it's like really easy to like be really sloppy with your brows. It, it allows for a lot of precision. And the brush that I've been using is this one by e.l.f. It is their dual ended eyebrow kind of brush thing and I love it. The little bristles at the end are really small. It makes it really easy to get those nice precise like brow hairs in there. So uh, yeah, so that that is what I have done and now I am going to just set everything in place and I'm using the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is a really good setting one. It's just, it's very strong. So your brows do get a little bit crusty if you don't mind that. Then this is a great one. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more natural, this is probably not for you. Now we're gonna go on to the face and we're gonna try a new primer. This is by Too Faced. It is their Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. Um, this is coconut water, probiotic based. It is skin revivers. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I can find. I'm gonna find out. It's gonna boost your skin's radiancy and its elasticity and help hydrate, lock down makeup and all that fun stuff. And apparently, it's like a hundred, a hundred percent of the people that tested this. How many people tested this? Does it say? It does not say. That sounds a little sketchy. It is a white based one, which I was not expecting. I thought this would be like a gel kind of a thing. Oh, it smells nice. If you do not like the scent of coconuts, you are going to hate this primer. Oh, personally, myself, I rather enjoy this scent a lot, hence why I'm obsessed with the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like a tropical vacation. This is sort of the same way. Does my skin look extra elastic and bouncy and hydrated? because it feels really good. Next up, we're gonna try out some new color correctors. These were sent as press samples. They are from Maybelline. It is their Master Camel by Face Studio color correcting pens. They have a whole bunch, how many? Six. Six different colors here. So I'm going to be testing out a couple of these today, depending on like what I have going on. Actually, my skin is looking pretty good today. Pretty impressed with it. Good job, skin. But I will be testing, I think I wanna test out this like peach one here. This is for under eye circles and I'm gonna try the brightening one and the green one as well. The applicator's kind of fun. It's kind of almost like a curved slope-like applicator and it's spongy and I'm still waiting for, for the product. Okay, this looks really dark. Uh, hopefully this is not going to be too obvious underneath my, um, my concealer. I put too much on the pen and now I have to use my, whoa! Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. In terms of the formula, as you can see, it is very pigmented. They were not joking around with this product. Let's just try and blend that in. Blend, 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 blend. That was intense. Let's do another one. I'm gonna try this pink one, if I can ever get it open. I'm gonna put this more into like the inner corner area here. I really like the formula of this product. It's very, very easy to blend out. It doesn't feel too goopy, but you're still getting a lot of pigmentation. Um, so far so good. I like this in the inner corners. I'm gonna try this green one now on any of the redness I'm experiencing. And let's try this time to avoid the whole like Kermit face thing that I had going on in my uh, dollar store makeup tested because that wasn't fun. So first impression for this product, really, really like it. I can definitely see myself using these more often. I'm gonna play around with this one a little bit more and maybe not use so much product under my eyes. And now onto foundation, I'm gonna be using a product that I actually tested out two weeks ago and I used it a couple of times and then I went on vacation and I didn't end up bringing this one. So I wanna kinda of test it out again and I'm gonna be combining it with the uh, Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. I actually really enjoy this product and when I first got it, I was like, I don't know, I can't really see my Myself using this that often and then of course I turn it around and I use it like every single day it's a great product combining it with a lighter foundation to give a bit of a bronzed glow um, but I also use it just by itself and it gives a very nice bronzy effect it has a little bit of a luminosity to it it's very lightweight really like this product so I'm going to combine these together and then I'm going to use a brush to apply this to the face because I think I used my sponge last time and you guys were saying to use a, um, a brush and it works a lot better. Really pretty foundation. The scent is a little bit overpowering um, for me, but I will put up with it because I think the effect on the skin is really beautiful. Um, I was using it when I tried it out for the first time and I had used it with, I think, a silicone primer underneath and it seemed to not work really well with those. So if you like silicone primers, um, this one doesn't seem to mesh really well, at least on my skin. So just keep that in mind, but like, 
on its own or with any other primer that I have used, including the one that I am trying out today. It seems to be doing a really good job. For concealer, we're gonna be testing out again a new product. This is sent as a press sample. This is from L'Oreal and it is their new Infallible Pro Glow Concealer. As you guys know, I love the Pro Glow foundation. I think it's a fantastic foundation. It gives great coverage, nice medium level, but it's easily blendable. And I love the color match. It's just, it's overall one of my favorite drugstore foundations. I think it's awesome. I'm going to be using today zero one classic ivory because of course I am I'm always using the lightest shade this is what the applicator looks like a little bit different from ones I have seen from L'Oreal in the past um, more of a thin tip applicator uh, but it seems to get a good amount of product on there so that's good and let's see what kind of coverage we're working with Ooh, it feels nice and smooth and soft I use my finger to blend this out for whatever reason recently I've been really liking using just my finger to blend everything out. I feel like I get better coverage that way. Oh, I am excited about this concealer. I hope it lasts all day and doesn't like crease and stuff. Cause like first impression, it goes on so smoothly. It blends out beautifully. Like my under eye area looks phenom. I'm really excited. Oh, I've had a lot of success today. This is exciting. Perfect shade, blends out really nicely and seamlessly on the skin, covers really well. I'm excited about this. Now we are going to set everything on the face using my little velour puff and this little powder right here, which is only to be known as Wowder. And uh, don't worry, I see all of you guessing. There are a lot of guesses out there, but I cannot officially tell you what it is until it announces on August 1st on my channel. I will let you guys know what it's all about, but if you want to see a little sneak peek, I'll put a little link down below so you guys can check it out and see when it officially launches. The brand is sponsoring this video leading up to the big launch in August. I'm super excited about it, but I kind of want to walk you through what I really love about it. It not only just gives me a really even skin tone and texture, but it's going to mattify, it's going to just minimize all of my pores, it doesn't settle into fine lines. It is a phenomenal product. It has been lasting on my face all freaking day. This is the product that I brought if you were watching um, Tuesday's video of last week. Um, this is what I brought to the cottage with me and all of my sisters-in-law were using this and kept asking me about it. I'm like, I don't You can see it has like a little mesh thing in here which is going to keep the powder that you don't want in, but you can also get it out really, really easily. I've used it with a brush. It makes it really easy with this because you just kind of like pop it on, but like the product doesn't fly everywhere. It doesn't make it a huge mess, which is fantastic. And this has been the go-to powder of mine. I've been really enjoying it. Cannot wait to share more details with you guys. Tuesday, August 1st, stay tuned. Now that my face is all set, we're gonna go in with bronzer, and this is one I have not tried before. It is in the shade Seaside. I'm excited to try this because sometimes with bronzers, they're too dark or they're too orange, and it's just, it, it, they just look muddy on my skin and they just look weird. Um, but this one looks promising, and I really like NARS um, bronzers. I think they're really beautiful but just finding a shade that works can be a little bit tricky. Like the product is pigmented, but not in like a, whoa, that's really dark kind of way. Like, I mean, it, like it's very dark right now, I have to blend it, but the color is a good match. I actually had leftover bronzer on this brush, so it definitely was not as dark as they originally tried out. You can see it is much more subtle, um, very easy to blend, but definitely not as dark as I had initially put on in the first place, just as a heads up. Note self. So, actually clean your brushes, Rachel. Okay, on to blush, and we're going to use a classic that I have been in love with lately. This is by Physicians Formula. It is their Butter Blush in the shade Vintage Rouge. Oh my goodness, like look how beautiful that shade is, 1A. But also like, again, smells like a tropical vacation. This, I could just live on an island with my Hangover RX Too Faced Primer and my butter bronzer and my butter blush. I would be happy. Maybe also some internet and, and, and my family and um, like a house or something. But anyway, this is such a beautiful formula, a beautiful shade. They, I think it comes with, um, they come in four different shades, but definitely very buildable and oh my goodness, obsessed with these blushes. For highlight today, I'm going to use a new one from Maybelline. I finally got my hands on it. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. This is in molten gold. I've heard so many good things about this highlight. Pretty stoked about it. Okay, so I just lightly tapped it in because I didn't know how pigmented it was gonna be. Um, and it seems like, like I can see it, but you, can, you don't have to be like super gentle with this. That is good to know. You guys see that? Hopefully it's picking up on camera. It's a very soft glow. It's not as gold as it is in here, but it definitely has like a warmer undertone. Very pretty. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, like that. I like it a lot. Put some on my nose. 
a little bit here. So I have enough highlight on my face. I feel like I need more. I feel like I want to bathe in this right now. I just want to put it like everywhere. All the highlight, all the time, all over my face. Now for the lips, I have a couple of different products that I have that are new and I really want to test them all out. I don't know which one I want to put on my face yet, but I thought I would like sit down and we can like swatch things together because you know what? That's really fun. I enjoy doing that. We have great swatching parties. So first we have some new matte liquid lips. These are by Bare Minerals. Um, I have three of them here. Um, we have Shameless, Lux, and flawless and they all look very very beautiful and I am going to oddly enough swatch right here on the inside of my hand because for whatever reason it is easier to get swatches off this part of my hand than this part don't ask me why I don't understand first we have shameless oh oh that's pigmented oh I like that color too that feels like a very racial color right like that's totally like all all me and now we'll do Lux next also really, really pigmented and beautiful. It feels very soft, serum-y, slightly moussey, but not over the top. So let's try this one. This one is Flawless. Also very, very beautiful. Ooh, these are going to be fun. I am excited. I kind of want to put one of these on my lips and just like see what the texture is like. Is that okay? Is everyone cool with that? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try Lux on my lips. Oh my goodness, the texture of these is amazing. It's almost like a velvety powder-like, but not in a bad way. It's just, it's so intensely lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything. It dries instantly on my lips. The only thing is that my lips are a little bit like cracked and dry today, so it's enhancing those spots, but like you would get that with basically any lip product that you put on your, on your face, especially a matte one. But the texture of these is incredible. Like, I don't want to take it off but it, but I do want to try another one, so so I have to take it off. For round two, we're gonna try the new Amuse Bouche liquefied lipsticks. These are by Bite Beauty. This is a press package that was sent, and they sent a whole bunch of their new liquefied lipsticks. I believe these are the first from Bite Beauty. They haven't done these before, but they're supposed to be super lightweight, very moisturizing, and give almost like a like a demi gloss kind of a finish. These aren't mattifying, to my understanding. But uh, yeah, so let's grab a couple of these and we'll swatch them. All right, so here I have Eclair, Flambe, and Puree. Again, with the whole food theme. They do that with a lot of, like, you remember Kale? Remember Kale, the lipstick was like bright green? No, not bright green, it was like dark hunter green. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, I'm more into Eclairs than Kale, but um, I, I like both of them. Okay, let's see. So it's got the slanted applicator, it's a sponge tip, it's very elongated, a lot of product comes out into the um, the tip right here so you can see it. there's tons there for application purposes. Very pretty, very pigmented, easy to apply, definitely more on the creamy side versus for example the Bare Minerals. Um, and uh, they feel very moisturizing on the on the inside of my hand. We will do a puree next. Whoa, that was not the color I was expecting. I was expecting that to be a lot lighter. And then we'll do this nice bright red next. Ooh, that is beautiful. These all swatch very well, so let's see what they look like on the lips. So this is Eclair on my lips and putting these on just after using the Bare Minerals was a big stark difference because these are much more creamy, they're thicker in application because they're not supposed to be matte, they're supposed to be a demi gloss, they're much more of a gloss but a thicker consistency, but it doesn't feel like that on the lips, like it feels like very moisturizing, very soft, it doesn't feel tugging in any way. It's, it's very nice. I like it. It has almost like a pepperminty kind of a scent to it. There's a lot of nourishing oils in it that are going to keep your lips very hydrated and soft throughout the day. It doesn't feel too oily that I'm worried it's going to kind of bleed all over the place, so that's also really good. I can't really compare this against the Bare Minerals. The Bare Minerals, it just it doesn't feel like anything on your lips, so I think that's great for really dark colors. But if you're looking for something that's going to provide a lot more um, nourishment and hydration to the lips, these are really, really beautiful. They just apply a lot differently than the Bare Minerals ones. And then the last one I want to try is by the brand, Co I think it's Koki. It is their Liquid Matte Powder. Li hold on. Liquid Matte Powder? How can you have a Liquid Matte Powder? I don't, I don't understand. This brand is available in Walmarts in the States, but they do actually ship to Canada for those of you that are interested. I think they're planning on potentially expanding into Walmarts in Canada. I don't know that for sure. This was sent as a press sample. So let's see what this is. Okay, it's not, 
It's not powder at all. Did I read that wrong? No, it says powder on here. I don't understand. It dries down to almost feel like nothing, but not quite. It's not as like lightweight, I want to say, as the Bare Minerals one but it does feel very lightweight. It feels like it's still drying down. This one dries instantly, so I'm gonna wait until it dries down to see how I feel about it. Considering the price, I think it is a fantastic product. Like, it feels really good um, on the lips so far. I'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day. I think I'll just keep this one on my lips, mostly because I'm lazy, but I will be testing these out for longevity in the future, so if I do, before I upload this video, I will put a little info in the info bar below for you guys. So this is how the look turned out. I really like it. I'm excited to update you guys at the end of the day and let you know how it wore, what it looks like. Hopefully everything's still in place because I, I gotta be honest, I feel like I really cleaned up today. Like there were a lot of really good products that I'm super stoked about and I'm kind of digging my look today. I, I think it looks pretty good. Also can we talk about the fact that I've worn lashes in three videos in probably six years. So I'm gonna go about my day looking super, super duper glam today, except for my pants. My pants are Lulu's, which I mean are technically kind of, kind of fancy, although they have dog hair all over them. If you missed out on that, you should go and check out my video that I did on Tuesday. There were some really cute puppy videos in there. Okay, so it is the end of the day. This is what we are working with. Ignore like the lip area though. My lipstick did not stay on as long as I was hoping and so I ended up just testing out a whole bunch of other lipsticks. So this area might be a little bit crazy. Oh, look at that. I have lipstick on the side of my face. Awesome. Honestly, it still looks really good. Like my eyes look awesome. My lashes are still on. My eyebrows are still good. My face makeup is still good and in place. It has not budged. You know what? We need to zoom in. Let's zoom in. That was not as zoomed in as I was expecting it to be. I have to like get up and move and like turn my camera because you're too far away. I can't reach you. The only thing was that the lipstick wasn't as long wearing and transfer proof as I was kind of hoping it to be. Maybe I'll try and get like a really thin coat and see how that holds up. But I think overall I had a lot of success with these products. I really enjoyed them. I will continue to play around with them and this was overall a win. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like these whole like first impression kind of full face videos with some like favorites mixed in or if you want just favorites and just first impressions, let me know what you guys like. And if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Fridays. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.